Mexico's president continues to insist, no, Mexico will not pay for the wall. Who better to bring in on this than Congressman Louis Gohmert, Republican from Texas? Here's, Louis, forgive me, I think it's going to go down like this. Taxpayers pay for the wall because we want to build it fast, and then we give to build to Mexico, and they pay us later. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, because Trump has used the word um, reimburse. Uh, you know, people around him have used the word reimburse. Well, you reimburse if we go ahead and build it, because we don't have time to wait for Mexico right. to figure out that it is actually in their best interest to build a wall. I mean, Stuart, you understand business. They apparently have leaders that don't. What is the reason that Mexico, with the massive natural resources they have, with the incredible hardworking population they have, why and they're in just incredibly opportunistic uh, location between North America, South America, two oceans? Why aren't they one of the top five or ten economies in the world? Fair they're point. like 62nd. Fair it's point. because. Cartels. And you've got to build, you build it build fast. A wall. You've got to build you it build fast. You build a wall. Yep. We shut down the drug cartels, and Mexico becomes one of the top ten economies in the world. It's in their interest. Now, they will thank us and pay us later. I've got another question. Seriously. I know you're plugged into this about tax reform. Seems yeah. to me that the Trump administration, the incoming administration, is going to go first for repeal and replace Obamacare. That mm -hmm. means cutting taxes will be delayed until probably way out there in the summer. Is that how that's going to go down? Well, we're not so sure about that. Uh, I mean, the government does go on. You've got to pay for all these medals that the president and vice president are giving themselves. We can't just <laughs> let those go unpaid for. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be delaying taxes. I don't want to send that message out. Uh, but my tax money has, has been be, going in every it? month. But you know how I feel about my tax cut. You know, I've been pounding oh, yeah. this table all f for several years now. <laughs> I know um, you and Warren Buffett have been saying you need to pay more taxes. I know that story. No, 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 stop it. <laughs> Do you ever want to come back on this program, Congressman? <laughs> but look, there's I no way around it. You, there there yeah. really is no way around this. You, you can't yeah. just repeal and replace Obamacare with a snap of the fingers. And but, that's going to take Stuart, some time. If we passed a but, Stuart, if we pass a repeal of Obamacare, it doesn't end the Obamacare policies today. That would leave people without any insurance right. at all. Yep. And they need those high deductible policies but, they'll never it, get any benefit from. It's just so very hard. We repeal, but, Stuart, we repeal it now. It, they'll have those policies for the rest of the year. Okay. That's not going to happen instantly. We do okay. need to repeal it instantly okay. so they can start getting insurance companies just to make better plans for the future. Speed up my tax cut, Louis. <laughs> Is it there you go. Request. You uh, betcha. Louis Gomer, one of our favorite guests. Thank you very Thank much you, for joining Stuart. us, so we appreciate it.